In 1931, June 26, comparative psychologist Winthrop Niles Kellogg and his wife Luella planned to raise the chimp, called Gua, alongside their own baby Donald. Gua was brought into the Kellogg home at the age of seven and a half months and reared with their son Donald, who was 10 months old at the time. For nine months the Kelloggs recorded the development of the chimpanzee and the human child. Gua often tested ahead of Donald in such tasks as responding to simple commands or using a cup and spoon. Gua recognized people from their clothes and their smell, while Donald recognized them by their faces. When they had language testing, Gua could not speak, but Donald could form words. On March 28, 1932, Nine months into the experiment, the Kellogg's officially ended it because suddenly Donald began to copy Gua's sounds.